Jacksonville takes another step toward becoming a major player in the world of self-driving cars. After months of code names, tax break approvals, this morning we'll learn exactly who is behind JTA's Project Link. News for Jacks reporter Aaron Farrar joins us live, and Aaron JTA calls the project an historic move for Jacksonville. That's because the new facility that's going to be built is going to be considered from JTA a first of its kind in the entire country. And that specific facility is going to be used to solely focus on producing self-driving electric shuttles. JTA says that new facility is going to be 450,000 square feet and the first in Florida. It would employ up to 200 people while offering competitive pay and benefits. There will also be a capital investment of $100 million. The company manufacturing the cars, Holon, is based in Germany. In June, the city council approved more than $7.5 million in incentives for the company to build that new plant. JTA officials think autonomous vehicles could be the key to growing downtown Jacksonville. Right now, there is a free self-driving shuttle making the rounds in the Brooklyn area. That pilot program started last week and will continue throughout the month of September. This is all in addition to the autonomous shuttles running on FSCJ's campus. In February, JTA's CEO claimed the electric bus routes were just the beginning of self-driving cars in the River City. We're getting much closer to that future with a great deal of mobility excellence. That announcement of the new facility will be happening later on this afternoon at 1 o'clock this afternoon. That will be at JTA's Learn and Test Facility. That's on the city's north side off of Lem Turner Road. The specific street is Armsdale Road. We will have a crew there and we'll carry that presentation live on News for Jax Plus. That's where you'll be able to watch it. We're live this morning. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.